Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Turner Construction Lightning Round. This is when we talk about a lot of things in a short period of time. And if you're a regular listener, you know it tends to hover over, uh, revolve around restaurants and retail. Uh, Everyone's favorite subject is brought to you by Turner Construction. And uh, Turner is building Omaha's future one project at a time and uh, one project owner at a time. They work with people who need to uh, expand their businesses, build an investment uh, property, uh, you know, build any building for any sort of reason. Uh, they just do an outstanding job with it. Little projects, medium projects, they can even handle huge, massive projects. They've got a deep bench with a lot of resources, and they combine that with their local feel here in Omaha, uh, using Omaha professionals who are very dedicated to the community. Um, Trent and I know a lot of companies that have have used Turner, and and we uh, strongly and personally uh, recommend Turner Construction for any project in the metro area. All right, let's get into it. Uh, First one, we're going to start with uh, food. We love talking about food. Always. And this one is Nice Rolls. The word nice, N-I-C-E, rolls is spelled R-O-L-L-Z, and <clears throat> it opened this week in Camp Blackstone. Camp Blackstone is the food hall that replaced um, the Switch food hall uh, in the Blackstone District. 3618 Farnham Street is where it is exactly. Anywhere nice, anyway, nice rolls uh, sells Asian rice dishes plus specialties like crab rangoon, uh, Korean corn dogs. And it joins a couple other uh, restaurants that are in there. Single Double, which is a burger place, which I've yet to try. I like the name. But I hear it's good. And um, also Camp Concessions and Wings, W-I-N-G. So nice addition. Blackstone area tends to just keep going and going up and up. Absolutely. Neat area. All right. Next up, B&G's Tasty Foods. We broadcasted live there a few weeks ago as they were putting on the finishing touches, getting ready for the opening. Well, they're no longer getting ready. It's open. And so if you want to try B&G's, just go out to Nebraska Crossing. And uh, it is on the far northwest corner. Yeah, northwest corner of Nebraska Crossing. And it has a drive-through space. It's a 4,500 square foot bay. It was, uh, if you're familiar with them all, it's where local beer patio and kitchen uh, at one time was located. But Trenton B and G's, you know, for some of us that are of our age or, or similar, it was such an institution at 79th and Dodge all those years. No question about it. It was a huge West Side and Burke uh, families hangout, given the location. And the and, prep kids probably went there a lot. And I'll admit that that the new incarnation out of uh, Nebraska Crossing, I thought it was better. Yeah, I mean, because I loved the old one, but the new iteration um, has some new menu items. And when we were there uh, for the live remote a few weeks ago, we got to preview some of those menu items. Uh, first of all, they gave us the tasty, and that is as good and very similar to what it was. But they have some new things, like the, the bourbon-infused ice cream was pretty amazing. Yeah. And, and they, they had a few other things they brought the out for us. The cheese-infused burger was the best. Yeah, that was pretty good, too. Yeah, you can't go wrong, so that's a nice addition out at Nebraska Crossing. This is kind of a cool business. Um, our, our friend Adam Maurer of the Learner Company uh, told me about this. It's called uh, Netpar. Net par, N-E-T-P-A-R, net par. And it is out of Indiana. They have three locations in the state of Indiana. Uh, from what I can tell, this will be the first location anywhere outside of Indiana. Um, and it is an indoor golf simulator, but also a full bar. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's so it's going to be in a 6,000 square foot space. So if you can picture the capital district, uh, there's the, the building. It's a 12 story apartment building. It has burger, uh, burger eam. It has the sushi place in it. It's uh, got a haircut place. This is going to be on the corner. Let it fly. Uh, let it fly is in the middle building. Okay. Uh, the three story building. This is that four, the, the 12 story building further west. So oh, gotcha. it'll be in that building. And they hope to be open by the uh, end of the year. This is cool. Something downtown Omaha needs. The UPS store is opening in the former Takechi Jewelers space, um, according to Shamrock Development, which is doing that building. It's called the Key Line Building at um, 321 South 17th Street, seven-story building uh, under renovation. But UPS store, nice addition to downtown. Absolutely. 
a sign that uh, services are coming to downtown, the types of things that... And that Takechi Jewelry sign had been there about 10 years long or, or so since they've been open. So. Yeah, that, yeah, the jewelry place. Well, Richard Takechi passed away some time ago, yeah. and, um, and, but so the store's been, been empty for quite some time. So that's a sign that downtown is, is uh, making progress when you see more of those service-type businesses. And then you, and then you talk about NetPAR um, over at the Capital District. Uh, there are some pretty cool entertainment businesses going there. You know, Fat Putter, which is another golf-related business. There, Trent, you mentioned Let It Fly, which is a very fun experience, huge sports bar. And then you've got the two, you've got the Martini Place coming up, that other bar that are under development, um, also in that um, Texas Day Brazil Let It Fly building. It's, it's just so many more options down there compared to what there used to be. And younger people spend money like never before. Yeah, and so that's that's definitely a good thing. All right, well, we have an opening date for Nebraska's first Dirty Dough Cookie Shop location. Uh, this is the one that's going to be in La Vista's Southport West area uh, in a new uh, retail strip right by Embassy Suites and Cabela's. The opening date for Dirty Dough, August 7th. We need it. I might need to go get some dirty cookies at Dirty Dough. Have you noticed crumble cookies? There's, I think there was maybe three locations of papillions open now. We have one in our neighborhood, and the lines were crazy for so long, but they've they've died down. And and, and just like uh, Hertz Donuts, Omaha's a city where, like, and in a lot of cities, I'm sure this way. But when something is new, whether it's a grocery store in Cretna or a candy store, or a donut shop, or whatever, the first couple of months is crazy, and then it. It levels off. Personally, I probably shouldn't say this. It might alienate some people, but I think crumble cookies kind of mid. Um, it just doesn't do it for me. Uh, but like I like if I'm going to go do the real expensive gourmet cookie thing, I like uh, the place at Village Point uh, better. Uh, what goodly? goodly, yeah, Goodly. I think they're personally better. But crumble is like to me too frosted, too uh, maybe a little high on the uh, on the fat or something like that. But some people love it. I'm and sure there's healthy cookies somewhere. Good, good for them. And that's uh, your Turner Construction Lightning Round for the week. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.